Hey everyone, as promised in my previous video where I've revisited the GTX 550Ti, I'm gonna take a look at the Radeon HD 5770 by ATI, which was released 9 years ago back in 2009, just a couple of months after the release of the HD 4000 series. So in the last video of this type I've put the 2 year younger GTX 550Ti by Nvidia to the test and it actually didn't even do as bad as I expected it to. So how about about this HD 5770. Can it keep up or has it just aged really badly? After all, 9 years is a long time. The specific model I'm looking at today is the standard edition by Gigabyte. Back then designs were quite a bit different to what we're used to see nowadays. In terms of specs for 2009, that's really quite impressive actually, such early DX11 support and even a DisplayPort output. While ATI or rather AMD still does offer some sort of official Windows 10 driver support even in 2018, keep in mind that the driver itself is from 2016, so already very outdated. Which is why anyone with such a graphics card will experience problems in some modern games. Battlefield 1 for instance gives us a warning message, does start up however, but kinda hangs in the menu, I can't click anywhere. So yeah, first one failed already. Luckily there's no such issue with the following games I've tested. For Crisis 3 I tried the 720p resolution, of course with everything else set to the lowest possible settings. This game does run surprisingly smooth with 77 fps on average, which is why I did not shy away from actually increasing the resolution to 1080p. While performance sure does take a major hit, 44 fps on average is still a very respectable result. For Doom we are going for 720p again, all settings on low. Now 24 fps are not really a too good experience, aiming can be a challenge, at least to me. The next game title Far Cry Primal I'm running at 720p at the low preset. I'm getting about 41 fps here, which is not super good but not too bad I guess. Although more frames per second sure would be nice. A must on my list is GTA 5. That game I'm running with DX11 720p for now, with all other settings at normal or rather low lowest possible ones. Now despite the graphics not looking too good, especially at 720p, the frame rate is pretty damn high. 79 fps is definitely more than playable and we have some headroom there. With the game at 1080p now, I'm getting roughly 44 fps. Ok, I actually wanted and expected a little more, but to many that's still more than playable. In Rise of the Tomb Raider at 720p, lowest preset, the HD 5770 gets me 33 FPS on average. I had a bit of a hard time playing that specific game at such a low frame rate, to be honest. Not very enjoyable. For the following title, Skyrim Special Edition, I'm going with 720p once again, all low settings, plus no AA at all. This gets me 49 FPS, that's very playable indeed. Unfortunately, performance takes a massive hit when going with 1080p. Instead of 49, I'm getting 34 FPS on average now. And as for the final game of this test run, The Witcher 3 at 720p, low settings for graphics and post processing. As expected a pretty GPU hungry game, therefore even at 720p just a bit over the 30 FPS mark, 32 FPS on average to be exact. Now to get back to my question in the beginning, how does the HD 5770 keep up nowadays? Well it turns out not so good, although certain game titles sure do run surprisingly well even with this 9 year old card. Nvidia's GTX 550 Ti however did a little better all in all, but then again it's 2 years younger and still gets driver updates, unlike this HD 5770 with now already 2 year old drivers. But nevertheless, I'm still impressed by how well these fairly modern game titles are handled by this 9 year old DX11 GPU by ATI. Would I recommend picking one up in 2018? Hell no, but just in case you're only planning on playing older games, you should be totally fine. It was a pretty impressive graphics card back in the day, I still remember gaming with it in 2010. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this little experiment. Maybe I'll do another one sometime soon if you enjoy these kind of videos. And as always, thanks for watching.